Hey everyone, hopefully you're good and having a very good day. Welcome back to ShaFC where I talk about our match against Everton in detail and talk a lot more stuff around the club. So first of all, coming uh, to us and what's really going on at the club right now. See, we got humiliated at Old Trafford. We cannot even deny and it's not like I'm very calm. I'm sad, I'm disappointed. But what happened last season and the expectation now is really decreased now. I think there's no point always being angry. You have to be calm now. And see, many fans are angry at Pochettino but I'm really calm. And that's not be me being stubborn because I wanted Pochettino. I know the struggles are deep, but I'm not even saying that your opinion is wrong. I'm right. No, I'm just giving my opinion and I respect everyone's opinion. My thing is that this is not a quick fix. We can cry. We can do anything. It's not going to be a quick fix because you can bring on Jose Mourinho. You can begin into new Conte. Nothing is going to change. This is a young side and the owners are taking a young project right now. And I can see we can like our owners. We can not like an owner, whatever. We need to see the end of this project before we criticize them. Like this year we might struggle, but next year we might be in the title race. Then what? So we have to give this a bit of time. The problem is these players are young players. We are not a good team away from home. Now, a lot of people always say that we are a better side at home. We aren't. We aren't. We are better side away. Sorry. No, we are not a better side at away. We are a better side at home. Our best performances have come at Stamford Bridge. We have been bullied away by Newcastle, bullied away by Manchester United. We were bullied by Burnley in the first half. We weren't good against Fulham in the second half. Our away performances have not really been good. We've been bullied at most places. Whereas at home, at home comfort with the fans, we've been on the front foot, we just haven't taken our chances. The problem is, we had a tough cold night in the St. James Park, tough cold night in Manchester. And that's where you need to be mentally strong. You need to be tough. You need to be physical. You need to be pacey. You need to be powerful in order to take on the players, be on their faces. And what did United do? They were on our faces, pressing us. And we could not play out of it. Newcastle, Tolinton, Bruno Gimarves, on our faces, we could not take it. And I'm not blaming any of our players, the young players who are learning on the job. They are a very, very young team. I think we cannot have enough expectation of them right now. They are a very, very young team with still a lot of potential in them. And this is why these matches are not the best right now to judge them on. I think when we see us against Brighton, Wolves, when we see us against the struggling Palace side, Luton, Liverpool again, City again, Arsenal again, United at home again. We're going to be much better than this, I promise you. But the problem right now is we've got such a young squad. If we want to finish high in the table, either we go in January, we sign an experienced striker, we sign an experienced centre half, and that's the way only we can go and get a top five, top six. If And there's no benefit of doing that. We already spent one billion. How much more money can we keep on spending? So I think to be really honest, this is the position we are in. And this is why I'm not very positive on the game. If we win, good enough. If we don't, my position is same with Pochettino. I will remain calm with him. And there's no benefit even sacking him if you want it. Coming on our opposition now, Everton. And they are again having a very, very good season. They were favourites for everyone to go down. And even after 10 point deduction, they are out of relegation zone. They are 9 points behind us. They beat us, they are 6 points behind us. And they could have been above us, above us if not for the deduction. What a job scene that she's doing. They have everything you need. Harrison has a credibility quality. Calvin Lewin attackingly is physical, solid. He's just not clinical. But that's good work in a favour. McNeil is such a good winger man. The left foot he has got, the shooting of the shot he has got. He's one of the top in the league in terms of the way he shoots the ball. You go on to uh, Dakure, what a season he's having, what a midfielder. Idris the guy is so solid defensively. They've got at the back the power of Tarkovsky, the intelligence of Tarkovsky, a strong keeper, a demanding keeper in pick four. And that is the most preferred test to go with. Because these players are going to be at the faces. They defeated Newcastle 3-0 because they worked on the counter, they got the goals, they were clinical and they were defensively solid. The worst things we want to play right now. And coming on to injury news right now for our opposition that is Everton and see their most side is back but Dele Ali is still uh, out right now. Onana could be on the bench in a big blow for us but hopefully he's back. I wish the best for him. You go up on to James Garner should be back for this game from illness. Pickford should play in this game and Andrew Gomez is a doubt so he might not even start and even if he's on the bench he's not going to be in the starting 11. So their likely 11 is going to be Pickford, Seamus Coleman, Tarkovsky, Brentwood, Michael Enko, Ashley Young, Dakure, Guy, Har Guy, McNeil and then Harrison and then Calvert-Lewin. Now coming on to us and in the end of the video I'll discuss on the way we can really beat them. Coming on to us and the injury news are the same so it's not going to change too much. It's the same injury news that we've been seeing for the last some weeks. So coming on to the lineup that I expect the manager to say because I can say my lineup because I would love to go with the back three but the manager just doesn't like Mark Sain, so there's no point talking about it. So what the manager will go with and where I will love him to be a bit more strong is bring James back in the team and he's fit for this game now. Keeper is going to be Sanchez. 
but you need to play Barry Shelley now. You made a mistake dropping him for Tissas in the last game. Rectify, bring him back in the game with Thiago Silva and then play Colville at the left. See, we have only two options now. Manager doesn't prefer Matsain, is Colville and Kukurella. And I think Colville defensively is still a marginally better than Kukurella. And Kukurella doesn't offer a lot attackingly. So why not go with Colville at the left? And then go with uh, Enzo, Caicedo, Gallagher. With Caicedo a bit more deeper, which I don't like to see. But right now with Lavia injured, we have no option. Enzo and Gallagher a bit too forward. And then it's going to be Sterling, Palmer and Jackson. I think it's the best lineup we can go with. I still will start with Jackson because I think Jackson against Brighton really played well. Even against United, his hold-up play was good. His passing and finishing was not good. But overall, his other play uh, was really good where he can bring Sterling into the play, Palmer into the play. So I'll go with Jackson in this game. And then if he's not playing well, Paul should be strong and bring Broha back. Now, how can we beat Everton? For me, see, being very honest, the only way we can beat them is outscore them. It's minimum score three goals in this game. And yes, it can be done. Raheem Sterling can trouble the absolute bits out of Shea Seamus Schoolman. I'm very confident Palmer could run around, boxes around Everton's defence, really being a difficult player to handle, smart, and make passes to Jackson who makes a good run in behind and Sterling in behind. So absolutely we can beat Everton, but the problem has we saw against United. We could have conceded 6 against United, but we could have easily scored 4 against them. Mudrick missed a time to pass, Jackson missed 2 chances, Sterling was awful, and again, we are just not clinical side and that's the problem. Sterling can, can have all the freedom he wants, but Sterling has his on and off days. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, on, off, on, off, on, off. You go on to Palmer, he can do all the creativity, but again, Jackson, not clinical, Sterling, not clinical. So that's the problem. If our attackers are on their best, then yes, we can win. But the problem with that attack is on, off, on, off, four against City, two against Arsenal, one against Newcastle, one against United, zero against Brentford. That's been a story and our attackers are very, very tough to predict. So that's the only way we can beat them is Sterling taking on Seamus Coleman, Palmer being free and Jackson making the running behind Tarkovsky and Brentford. It's not going to be easy striker to handle, but he's just not clinical. And this is why I just think, see, I would love to say Everton nil, Chelsea 3, Everton 2, Chelsea 4. It's not going to happen. If it happens, I'm the most happiest person in the world. But I'm going with right now Everton 2, Chelsea 1. I don't think they're going to score too much in this game. But I think they're going to be physical. They'll get a goal from set piece. They'll get one goal from, uh, you can say, across. And we're going to get one goal from a Sterling or Jackson. But it's not going to be enough. We're going to miss a lot of chances. So I'm going with Everton 2, Chelsea 1. But hopefully we can win.